All right, so summer weather is here, and you guys want to see new summer pickups. Summer fashion can be a little bit difficult, in my opinion. I tend to like spring and fall a lot better from a clothing standpoint because you can layer, and that's just my style. I like layering, I like wearing denim, I like outerwear. That is the type of clothing that I prefer. But obviously, in the summer, you can't wear that. It's too hot, and sometimes you've got to sacrifice fashion just to stay a little bit cool. So I've got t shirts shirts here and I've got shorts and I've got some sneakers that I'm feeling for this summer so let's get into all that right now. Starting things off, I've got two more pairs of Mitchell and Ness shorts. So for the first pair, we've got some Seattle Supersonics joints from the 2007 and 2008 season. These are just some classic throwback style shorts and I've been wanting them since they released last year. I love how it has the Seattle logo stitched in at the top of the drawstring there. So these shorts have pockets but they aren't as nice as the authentic shorts but I'm willing to sacrifice quality to get some pockets on my shorts. It feels weird not having pockets so I need those. And for the second pair of Swingman shorts I've got the Orlando Magic Joints. These are so fire, man. These are so fire. Honestly, these throwback shorts are like a little bit nostalgic for me. They just bring me back. You can't really be too extra when you're wearing these shorts. They're loud, they're flashy. So everything else I'm gonna wear is gonna be pretty toned down. Like an all white tee and some white Air Force Ones or some black and blue Jordans or white and blue Jordans, whatever, are gonna go great with these shorts. But I picked up two pairs, Seattle Supersonics and the Orlando magic let's keep it moving next up got a pair of sneakers you guys have seen a bunch of people with these already so I'm not gonna spend much time on them I already did an on feet video for these I hope that I uploaded it by the time I upload this video but you guys probably have seen it we've got the Travis Scott fours the cactus jacks and there was no way I was gonna miss out on these actually there was a way if I didn't hit on Nike I probably wouldn't have a pair but I actually got a sneaker on the sneaker Sneakers app. Usually I take a huge L. I haven't copped many limited sneakers on the sneakers app. The colorway on these is so insane. It's this super light blue. The waxed laces on Jordan 4s, such a nice detail to include on there. But definitely a top 10 sneaker of 2018. Let me know if these are on your list as well. Stussy, one of my favorite brands and definitely one of my favorite t-shirt brands. This is the Pond Day Ends Spring 2018 tee, and I just loved the graphic on the front of this. It's a pigment dyed charcoal t-shirt. So honestly, I thought I was gonna get a black tee when I first ordered it, and then when I got it in, I loved it even more because it has this retro vintage type vibe. This goes great with some dark gray denim that I have, and the fit on Stussy t-shirts is excellent. It's everything I need. It's a little bit longer than normal. They're not skin tight, they're baggy, and they typically have great graphics. So I picked up two graphic tees, this being one of them. Let me show you the second. And then the next t-shirt has a more tropical type vibe. The front is just blank with a small Stussy logo on the left side, but the back, you've got that tropical beach setting. That sold me right there, man, that palm tree with the floral print and people just hanging out on the beach. This is also from spring 2018. Had to grab both these t-shirts, man. Stussy just does their thing and they continue to be one of my favorite streetwear brands. I could buy all their stuff. These hit for like 35, 40 bucks. So Stussy t-shirts are a little bit expensive, but they're worth it in my opinion. Sometimes you can find them on sale. So I'll link any Stussy t-shirts that I can find on sale down in the description. All right, getting back into shorts. This is my go-to pair of shorts this summer. Very basic and these are an essential for sure. This summer I was like you know what I need a go-to pair of shorts that I can count on. Not a pair of Mitchell and S shorts where there's a lot going on. I wanted something simple. So a friend of mine put me onto this brand. It's called Will V. It's an up-and-coming brand out of New York City and this is the most premium pair of shorts that I currently own. They hit for $100, so they're certainly a little bit pricey, but they are made in New York City and they are worth it. This material is amazing, super soft and breathable, and the fit is great. I've already worn these multiple times, and I know that these are gonna be my most worn shorts this summer. The waistband on these makes them super comfortable as well, so definitely check out Will V 
I'll link their Instagram down below and you guys can check out and see what they've got. But certainly worth the price tag and made in New York City, so you gotta respect that. Next up, I got two more t-shirts. You guys know the deal, Carhartt. I've been wearing these tees a lot already this summer. This first one is actually interesting because this colorway discontinued. You cannot buy this right now. Well, you can buy this right now, but only in certain places. They're not gonna be restocking this color, so if you can find this, I would definitely pick it up. This is called Ash Gray. It's a super light gray. Honestly, the lightest gray I've ever seen. It's pretty much white. Kanye West has been wearing this t-shirt a lot. He wears a long sleeve version and I've seen him wear this short sleeve version. Again, this is not white. It's a light gray and it's called Ash. I don't know exactly why they're discontinuing this color, but I have my suspicions. I saw that Carhartt work in progress started releasing t-shirts in this colorway as well. So I don't know if inline Carhartt stopped making these and then work in progress started making them because it's a more popular color. I'm not really sure, but I know that this is discontinued and I will link it down below for any sizes that I can find. When I copped this, there was only a size large and an extra large available. So if there's more sizes that popped up, definitely don't sleep because this is one of the best colorways in this pocket t-shirt, in my opinion. And again, Carhartt runs really big, so I size down on their t-shirts. Had to share this pickup with you guys. The second Carhartt tee is a little bit different. All right, so this next t-shirt is also Carhartt, but this is Carhartt work in progress. It's a premium version of Carhartt clothing that is more lifestyle based, more fashion focused, and also more expensive. So that pocket tee I just showed you guys is like $16.99. This tee is like 40 bucks. So it's a lot more expensive. The material is certainly nicer as well. And then you get colors that you don't see on the inline Carhartt stuff. Like this light blue is not something you're gonna see from inline Carhartt. So this is an exclusive color to work in progress. The fit is a little bit different. The fit on these is true to size. And it has a little bit of an oversized fit, but not much. So stick with your true size if you go ahead and grab these. I thought this color was cool. And the whole work in progress line is really dope in my opinion, because it takes inspiration from inline Carhartt, but makes it more fashionable. So I'll be sure to link WIP stuff down below. It's a more exclusive product. All right, and then last up, I got a pair of sneakers from my friends over at Adidas. So these are their new pod system sneakers. So these were a gift from Adidas, so huge shout out to them for sending them over. I already tried these on and the comfort is crazy. It feels a lot different than an Ultra Boost. So I've seen a bunch of people on YouTube already do videos on these and I don't really wanna repeat content. So what I'm gonna do is throw these on feet for you guys and that'll be how the video ends. So definitely make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this summer clothing haul video. Let me know if there's any brands that you wanna see in these videos, especially like minimal streetwear stuff. That's like my niche. So let me know down in the comment section if there's any brands that I should check out. But let's throw these Adidas on feet and that's how the video is going to end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll link as much stuff as I can find down in the description. A lot more summer content on the way, including a summer lookbook and like top 10 summer sneakers, a bunch of stuff. So keep an eye out for it. Appreciate you guys always messing with the videos. So that's a wrap on this one. Let's throw these on feet. Peace.